Okay, the first group of questions uh, involves uh, airspeed calculations using true airspeed, or in case finding true airspeed from indicated, or finding indicated from true using temperature and pressure altitude. So we're going to take a look at these, and I'll show you the solution on the E6B flight computer. So again, these are computer exercises number one, and this is the airspeed questions. And the first airspeed question is, given a pressure altitude, meaning your altimeter is set in the Colesman window to 29 decimal 92, a temperature of plus 5 uh, Celsius, and indicated airspeed of 70 knots, what is your true airspeed? So we move the E6B over, let's take a look. The first thing we're going to do is set those parameters into our true airspeed and density altitude window, and as we tightened in the shot here, you can see that we have uh, zero uh, I'm sorry, uh, there's a 5,000 feet pressure altitude, and there is plus 5 Celsius. We're then going to take a look at 70 knots, or what represents 70. In this case, it's going to be the number 70. On our inside window for 70 knots indicated, and rounding, we're going to get 75 knots for a true airspeed calculation. Okay, our second question is given an altitude, pressure altitude of 10,000 feet, a temperature of minus 5 Celsius and an indicated airspeed of 110 knots. What is our true airspeed? Very similar to the last question. Take a look at our setup on the E6B. Uh, this depicts 10,000 foot pressure altitude and minus 5 Celsius in temperature. We're going to look at 110 knots indicated and our estimated number, or I guess our number representing 110 knots in this case is going to be 11 because remember we have to decimalize that and make that into 110 for our calculation purposes. Looking opposite of that, the correct answer for this problem is 128 knots true. Okay, the third problem puts a little bit of a twist on this. We're going to give you the true airspeed. We're going to still give you the altitude and pressure altitude parameters, and you're going to have to indicate the indicated airspeed. So uh, let's take a look. We got 15,000 feet in pressure altitude. We got minus 20 Celsius in temperature. We have a true airspeed of 180. To achieve a true airspeed of 180, what indicated airspeed would we have to fly? So let's take a look at our setup. On the E6B flight computer, here in our true airspeed, density altitude, and temperature window, we have 15,000 foot pressure altitude, minus 20 on the temperature, and as we slide this over to a true air speed of 180, look on the outside scale, and find 180. And we're going to determine on the inside scale what the what the indicated altitude, um, I'm sorry, the indicated air speed is. In this case, the indicated air speed is 144. So, given the parameters of a Altitude, pressure altitude of 15,000 feet, a temperature of minus 20 Celsius, a true air speed of 180 that you want to achieve, you would fly 144 knots indicated to achieve a true air speed of 180 knots. Question number four, we're back to our normal calculation. We have a pressure altitude of 12,000 feet. We have a temperature of minus 10 Celsius. We have an indicated air speed of 140 knots. What will be our true air speed? Taking a look at our E6B flight computer, here we have the parameters set into our true airspeed and density altitude window, and we go ahead and take a look at 140 knots on the inside, which is going to be represented by 14, and looking at our outside scale, we're going to call that uh, 167, 168 knots true. Okay, rounding out question number five, pressure altitude 7,000 feet. Temperature, minus 5 Celsius, indicated airspeed of 82 knots. What is our true airspeed? Taking a look at our E6B flight computer, these parameters are set in to our flight window, presenting a 7,000 foot pressure altitude and minus 5 Celsius on the temperature scale. Taking a look at 82 knots indicated, 82 knots indicated matches up precisely in this case with 90 knots true. Again, indicate airspeed on the inside scale, true airspeed on the outside scale. Okay, and the last problem goes back to that um, slightly different twist on these problems where you're going to be given the true airspeed and you're going to find the indicated. 
Here we have 4,500 feet in pressure altitude and minus 14 C for temperature. What is our indicated airspeed uh, if we want to fly at a true airspeed of 90 knots? And we'll go ahead and take a look at our setup in the uh, for the pressure altitude um, temperature window, um, representing our 4,500 feet and minus 14, as close as we can get to those numbers. I basically have just taken a look and used minus minus 15 in the uh, in the window, um, and just tried to estimate roughly where minus 14 would be. These are very small windows. And uh, any slight movement is going to cause an exaggerated uh, reading on the outside scale. So um, it's safe to just pick 15, and um, what you can guess is 4,500 feet. Take a look at our outside scale. We're going to find a true airspeed of 90 knots on the inside. I'm sorry, on the outside. That's 90 knots on the outside, giving us somewhere between 87 and 88 knots indicated on the inside scale. Uh, for all practical purposes, this problem, I'll call it 87 knots.